Something simple today. Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're making cheeseburger biscuit cups. Look at that. They look yummy. They are yummy. So let's get to it. Let's get out our ingredients. First up, pound of ground beef, lean ground beef. Secondly is cheese. We're supposed to use Velveeta, but I had some cheese slices I wanted to use up. Can of biscuits out of the fridge, some Worcestershire, ketchup, mustard, some brown sugar. How about some onions? And that's about it. So let's get this all put aside and get down to business. We're going to start with the cheese. Now the recipe calls for making cubes of cheese so we have we'll have 10 biscuits so it needs 10 cubes of cheese but I got cheese slices I want to use up and I really don't have any block cheese so we're going to use this it'll work out just fine I'm going to mix it around with both the orange it's, it's all cheddar and it all tastes great when we're done so I'm not worried about it. I'll make a bunch of pieces if there's any left over I'll just snack on it so I think I've got enough for the 10 ground beef cups. So that ought to be good enough. Let's get the cheese out of the way. Into our frying pan is going to go our pound of ground beef because of course we want it cooked. I suppose because it's going in the oven you might be okay but I really don't want raw burger. So let's get it cooked up. A little bit of pepper, salt if you want it. To your taste of course. A little bit of onions. I kind of wish I would have made more. Probably double that. A good half a cup, three quarters of a cup of onions because I love onions in this. Live and learn. So we've got the ground beef all nice and cooked up nice and brown along with our onions so to that this is one teaspoon of Worcestershire and along with that goes our brown sugar listen it was sweet so if you don't like sweet you can skip that completely I actually thought about throwing in some cream mushroom soup I think that would have worked better now we also need a teaspoon of mustard Okay. The problem is when you actually measure, you get it stuck on the spoon and, you know, it's hard to get off. So, did the best I could. So, I decided not to measure the ketchup. And we just squoze it out of the bottle. And, of course, the problem with the ketchup is we're at the end of the bottle. So, it was really hard to get out the half cup of ketchup we needed. I got what I could out until I thought, ah, enough's enough. I think I was pretty close. Mix all that around. Give it a couple minutes. It's going to thicken up a little bit like that. So I turn the stove off. And we're going to put all this into a bowl. And let it cool down while we're working on the next step. Now it smells really ketchupy and mustardy and sugary actually at this point. Nothing wrong with that. But like I said, if you don't like it really sweet, don't. And if you like some spice, listen, throw in some jalapenos or something too. Nothing wrong with that. Well, there's our hamburg. I thought I had tons. It was just enough to do our 10 biscuits. So there's our cupcake tins. We're going to give them a good grease, just 10 of them. And why do the other two when I have no intention of putting anything on? Here's our biscuits out of our can, just like that. Now the trick here, you're going to take each one and mush it around until you get a cup like that. That's pretty cool. And 10 later, while it's not perfect, you've got 10 cups to work with. And you want them up as close to the top as you can. And don't worry about it. They will bake like a biscuit. So into the first one, about a teaspoon of burger, some of our cheese, 
We're going to top that up. And then I said, wait a minute, we need a little more cheese in this. I didn't have any shredded cheese handy. So I thought, well, I'll just take the pieces of cheese that I cut really small and shouldn't have. So both cheeses on top. And then I just did that with the rest of them. Hamburger cheese, hamburger cheese. Looks good. Let's get this into the oven. 400 degrees for 12 to 14 minutes. And when they come out, check that out. Now they smell as good as they look, and they do look good. Now watch this. We're going to set it aside. Bring out our plate, and then i got to get a fork to pull them out. I'll watch this. Look at how golden brown those are on the outside. They are B-E-A-U-D full. I think I'm going to do three. I'm not super hungry, but I'm hungry enough. Look at that. And there you have it. Cheeseburger biscuit cups. A winner in my book, and I hope you give them a try. Hey, another great recipe. I hope you'll give it a try. Leave me a comment below, one way or the other. Listen, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell because that'll tell you the next time I upload a video. Feel free to share this in any of my other videos. And thanks for stopping by and watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.